So this is the switch right here. And if I, you can see right here, this little button right here, this right here. If I press this one, it's working fine. And when I start, when I press it, it does start the computer. So a lot of people I see online, they have been going and I think uh, some people are replacing this button when there's nothing wrong with this button. So basically you can see right here, this is the back of the button right here. You can see this cross. Over time, this actually goes down with the use. So all you have to do is use some kind of um, uh, JB Quick uh, epoxy. You can use that and just a hairline, you can build up this cross and it should work fine. That should solve your problem. Um, you can change the switch if it is not working properly because when I press it, it has a click to it and I can see it turns on as well. Um, so I know this switch is not bad. But I know there are some people that are going over in the switch and replacing this, but it's not really solving the issue because that is not the problem. The problem is right here on this cross. Um, it just went down, uh, you know, over time and it's not pressing the button when you press on. So I'm going to mix the epoxy and build some up and I'll show you uh, when it's done. You can see uh, I did put this epoxy. Um, it, it from the close up it looks a lot more but it's not really it's very little bit um, it's gonna take about four to six hours to completely dry so I'm gonna leave it overnight and uh, hopefully in the morning it should be all dried up so you can see this is what I'm using right here it's a quick weld um, it, it says a four to six I actually took the packing off already it's about four to six months to completely dry all right, it's been overnight sitting like this and it dried. Put everything back and let's press the button and see what happens. It comes right on. So basically this is pretty much it. Uh, now when I press the button, it comes right on. So that was pretty much the fix.